right? Yeah. That's, a, that's a question about time. That's saying, I start here, I'm going to end here, how long did it take me? And now, you know, compare the three times. If you look at everything on these boards, except the very top, um, there is no reference to time. <coughs> right? It's all about speed, height, stuff like that, nothing about time. So there's a limit to what you can get out of this approach. While, while it does have Newton there, we've done enough math to disguise a little too much of Newton. You know, F equals MA can answer everything. You know, we could go back to F equals MA and say, which ball wins? We have to deal with this kind of hairy math that I mentioned, but we could do it. And actually, I should point out that what you can do if you want to deal with the hairy math is you can actually use a bit of math, which uh, it, probably, if anything, you would learn more in economics rather than, I mean, we, we teach it for physics, but in terms of general stuff, it's actually more uh, useful in economics, is what's called the calculus of variations. You can ask, which path, how should I build this track to get that ball to the bottom faster? What's the optimal path? And so there's a way to do that. And it's using what's called calculus of variations because it's a it's a it's an optimization problem. Economists use this for optimization because if you think about what's happening, you know what's going on here. What's going on here is here you've got an example. There's one back here of a very steep decline. It's like you're you know you're letting the thing go almost in free fall. It's going to zip down really fast, but the price you paid is look how long this path is. Here you said, oh, the shortest point between here and here is a straight line. You've minimized the path. But at the expense of this gradual incline, where at the beginning, you know, you don't, you have nothing like free fall. The speed's going to be fairly low up here. What works just right is this, and you can actually work out the mathematical form of that shape, where you kind of optimize and say, okay, I don't want it too steep, because then I have a very long path. I don't want it too flat, because then I'm not getting my speed advantage. It's just what I need. Okay? So with calculus of variations and F equals MA, you can actually work that out. Okay? Energy will not do that for you. Okay, now let's do another demo. And actually, Jerry, you're all set to do the same. Jerry's going to make a movie of this. Um, so this is going to be something similar, another race between two balls. This one a little trickier. The balls are going to start here, and they're going to be, um, let's see this one I just pulled down again, Jerry? Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to release the balls here. They're going to go zipping across, end up over here. But what you want to notice is, while they both go down these initial inclines, the um, one here stays on this flat track. The other one follows a longer path down and then up again. The question is, which ball is going to win? Any, any guesses? Hmm? I'm sorry, the, they're going to tie. Okay, that's certainly a possibility. And, and you would say why? why you know, what's your intuition on why they would tie? Right, so you could imagine they're going to tie, that even though this one's taking a longer path, right, we already, you know, all this MGH stuff we've been talking about tells us that when this ball is down here, let me just move them ahead, when they're in this position, which ball is going faster? The red, right? The red is dropped farther, the red is going faster. So you might say, okay, it's got this extra distance, but it's got the speed. It'll, you know, right, so they could tie. But, you know, by the same token, the red, anything is really possible. And it's really just a matter of how you build this thing as to what happen. So let's see what happens. So. Sorry, Ivan. Uh, the red won. Okay, one more time. So you can see how the hey, that's not what I Alright, so one thing you can see very clearly is the red is moving faster there. Again, it's tricky. I mean, you could rebuild this. You could shrink this distance here, and then, you know, in that case, um, you would expect the. Um, what would you expect? I don't know. Any guesses? You 
play with this distance like you would expect to happen?